Hi everyone, I am Moving Go and Lisa 007. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yay! Today I'm gonna uh, make some earrings and this might be a tutorial and it's a free one. So if you like to if you like this video, please like and subscribe, share it with your friends and family, and please tell people about me and you know it takes courage to put yourself out there and not everybody's gonna like what you do or you know or your work type of work they think it might be boring tedious or t to you know beneath them but anyway i do this for fun i try to make my videos for free because i know i hate those advertisements they drive me crazy because you can't enjoy a tutorial without you know being bombarded with advertisements everywhere so that's annoying that's why my channel will be free for everyone to wishes to learn how to make arts and crafts so today we're gonna do some arts and crafts <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back. Let's get started. Today you'll need one of these pliers, the flat nose plier, round bent nose pliers, and the fl these are all also called flat nose pliers, ch chain nose pliers. All of these are the specific tools that I use all the time for making earrings, necklaces, rosaries, or whatever you want to say. But these are the tools that we'll need. Uh, flat nose, bent nose, and chain nose pliers. I think that's what these are called. If I say it wrong, I do apologize. My vocabulary is sometimes, you know, I stutter, you know, with the terms and stuff because I'm still trying to figure out how to say things correctly and how to go about it the correct way. And you will need some jump rings. I bought this one on Amazon got all different sizes i got the variety pack because it has all these sizes you need a charm of your choice and you'll need some ear earring two two of the um air hooks you need two of these i'm using gold gonna set those aside today i want to look at my bunny rabbits i got these a couple of years back and um, I hadn't had a chance to look, look at them, but all I have is I have is these three, as you can see. Still cute. I'm not sure what happened to the other one, but we'll make one necklace. We'll make a necklace, and we'll also make it two. We'll make an earring set. See the little hole right here? That's what we're gonna be focusing on. All right, now let's choose a size. I think maybe a uh, let's see. I think this this size should be doing. I think this is six millimeter. Here we go. These are jump rings. We got six millimeter. Let's close that up. Set that aside. My new craft room is really clean. I try to do the best I can and keep it clean all the time. So let's try to open these. What you want to do is find the opening. There it is. Take your bent nose. Take it in there. Take the flat nose and just open it like that. I'm gonna do it again. Right there. Open, close. You open a little bit. Now, before we close it, we put the ear hook in through it. Now, all you do is just take these again. Might want to squeeze that down. Did off camera, I'm sorry. I 
make sure it's closed all the way. Got to do it a couple of times. check and there you there you have it nice little bunny earring okay we'll do the same thing again I'll do it one more time find that little center put it through here open it Take your other ear wire, put it through the hole, That's all you do. Basi basically, if you see that hole right there where I'm pointing to with my finger, you want to put the jump ring, this little circle, through that jump ring before you close it, you put the ear hook. And there you have a beautiful charm earring. These make excellent gifts. You can sell these and, uh, you know, Anybody will, will want to wear these because they're so cute. You can make a matching necklace set. Let's make the necklace set. Um, be right back. And I'm back. And I want a gold matching because we made gold earrings. So I'm using this one. I got this one also off of Amazon. I'm not sure what type of chain it is. But it is um, a, a regular plain old chain. What you want to do is unwrap it. See, I'm going around. Want to, you know, you want to make sure it'll fit around the head in case if they break it or something. But uh, you want to, if it's a child necklace, then I would recommend or an adult size, probably around this side. I don't know if you can see that with the glow. Oh, well, maybe a little longer. About right, right, right there. Take your flush cutters, which are these. I'll show you how to cut it. Use your matching, match it up, and you just want to cut. And there you go. Once more, take your jump ring, take the six millimeter one. You want to take a couple. There we go. First of all, let's figure this out. It's like a puzzle. And, um, I'm going to take your same jump ring. I'll show it again. Okay. Oops, I must have dropped it somewhere. When that happens, <laughs> I want to make sure you can find it again. And then, there we go. You want to stick it through the hole. I don't know if you can see that because it's a little bit blurry. There we go. See the jump ring? Right there. Yeah, I'm sticking it through the hole. Before you close it up, add in one more jump ring. I 
once more, tighten it up. Just squeeze on it until it gets to into the center point. All right, do the same thing for the other side. Oh, well, we need a lobster claps, don't we? I'll be right back. And here's our lobster claps. Don't forget one of these. If you're not prepared like I am, you want to be prepared when you do this project. <laughs> so let's do this. All right, there's the other side. Take your jump ring. It's a little bit harder to do this on camera. Head upside down. Yep, there it is through the hole. And then what you want to do is put that hole. Close. There we go. Close it up. Now for the center, you need one more jump ring. Do it one more time. By now, hopefully you guys got the hang of how to open and close a jump ring. Here we go. Okay, now let's get our other bunny rabbit. Put it through the hole. Did you see that? Right there. Make sure your jump ring is open in order to, to do that. Gotta do it one more time. Right there through that hole. Alright. Now we take our move stuff out of the way. I want to make sure it's in the center too, so. So I'm trying to line it up. These two center points has to be touching. Oh, if it falls out, don't forget your bunny rabbit. Make sure you find the hole. pliers there we go Turn it around, and there you have it. A beautiful rabbit necklace. Oops, threw it upside down. <laughs> Got a rabbit. 
can put the jump rings and a lobster clops. It's pretty. I got everything on Amazon. That's the only way I can find certain charms and pendants. And but we made this one from scratch because we used the gold plated um, chain. So you can invest one of these to get the chain and start making your own. Or if you want to help support me, you can go to my soulforhobby.blogspot.com blog. Check out the other arts and crafts. And there you have it. You have a matching. You got a matching pair of earrings. Any gir young girl or teenage, college age, or whoever, you know, will love to have this. I'll let you guys see it. There we go. And if you want to put an ear stopper in the back, we can do that really quickly. This is what it looks like, the ear stoppers. These are ear stoppers for the earrings. You could also order these on Amazon too. Now what you do. See that hole? You stick it. Right in the hole. There we go. Where's the other one? Sometimes hard to see. Hmm. Let's see. Um, maybe, I know I had another one. But anyway, I'll get another one at the same time. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a little bit disorganized today. Huh? But I hope you guys like this tutorial to cheer you guys up a little bit. And, um,. Oh, here's the other one. I was looking for the second pair of earrings. I know we made one. I'll show it one more time how to put the air stopper on. Find that little hole in the center. Push it gently through. You can use a jewelry cloth to clean the earrings. And there it goes. There you have it. You can see it. Give me a little bit of trouble today. <laughs> anyway, there's your air stopper. Here's this one. There's that. One. And then you got the necklace. Oops. And the necklace. Matching pair set. You made a matching pair. Yay! <laughs> and it only took close to 10 minutes. But that's some well worth the time spent. And, you know, you stay at home, you get bored, you want to do a project. This is a fun and simple way of project to get started in your own jewelry career. Selling stuff online is, is not as easy as it is because there's so much competition and not everybody's going to like your stuff. I've been rejected far more times than I can count. And when I put my stuff out there, it's very discouraging because... You know, not everybody's going to like you. And if you want to be likable, just be nice to everybody and just have fun with it. Like I did. I had a lot of fun. So these are my tools. You need these round nose. This one you don't have to use because I like to use the flat nose pliers. These are the only tools you'll need. And to cut it, you need your flush cutter. So basically these are all the tools you'll need for making this project you can find these at michael's hobby lobby joann's um in, or amazon if you don't want to go out and venture they you can find all these jewelry you can get it as a set it'll save you time and money to get started craft supplies can be very expensive and time consuming but anyway that's it for today i hope you guys like it so give me a good thumbs up and like and subscribe, share it with your friends, and talk to y'all later. See you in the next video. Bye!